Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Now, before we are getting into the sketch tutorial, I wanted to like ask you something because uh, yesterday, because today is Saturday, yesterday and Friday and on Thursday, I had a huge increase on subscribers on the channel. You see it in this like statistic right here. Normally I have about 50 or 40 subscribers each day and like on Thursday and Friday I had more than 200. So I don't know how this happened. I don't know if I have got featured somewhere or something like that. But if you knew, if you know something about the probable feature or if I was linked somewhere, maybe you know about that fact, just write it down in the comment section. That would really help me and that would really like help me to just figure out how this could happen. But let's now just get into Sketch. As I said on Monday's video, in Monday's video, uh, we are simply going to create another uh, graph-based user interface. This was Monday's tutorial and today we are of course also creating something that is related to graphs. So here are the keystrokes. Hit A to create a new artboard and there we have the second one. So this is video 188. And this is video 187, like that. So the second screen, which isn't related to the first one, is going to have a different color and we are working with uh, different time zones. But we are also, uh, also going to work with money again, so uh, dollars and so on. But in the end, I would like to show you how you can work with crafts and how you can incorporate them into your designs. So one of the first things that we are going to do is to create a status bar and we can simply pick it up from this iOS UI design. So get into the, get into, uh, the file and simply copy it. And if you hit this button right here, you can bind it to the top. Now, I want to merge our windows because I have a icon set open up. And I would like to have a background color, which is greenish and about, which will look about like this, about like that. This will be the background color for the top part, which will also contain the graphs. And the, the bottom part, is containing a normal rectangle like that and it's going to be white just like that okay so but we are focusing on the top part which will contain the graph i would like to display a search icon and i would also like to display a uh like profile icon so we are going to look for the person which is in there. So I simply grab them. The icon set is also linked down below. So you can simply check it out and download it for free. So there we have one. Uh, we need to copy it and I can paste it right there. And also the profile icon. Oops, boom. So here we have both of them. Let's zoom in a bit and let's drag them up to the top, up to the top, yeah, we're gonna up, 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 up to the top. like that, and boom, 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 keystrokes going crazy, select both of them and change the color to white, so we have them right here, and this one should be positioned like that like that. Okay, so the next thing is a graph. Simply hit S to, uh, no, simply hit uh, V like vector to create a new graph. And I'm going to start out right here, which is our starting point And the first curve will be created right there. And the other one, the next curve will be created right here like this and it will go up to about this point and 
will look like that. A very simple way. You already see it has a border on it already and we are going to use it. We are going to create a gradient fill. This is going to be a, a little bit special today. Um, we have this white fill and I want to make it somehow transparent a little bit. So white will be in, in the center and on the outsides we will have the color which is this green. So if you double click within this area right here you get another of one of these uh, like colors that you can choose from. And today I simply drag them all the way over from the left to the right and this should be in about the center position. No automatically aligned center but this is already looking how I want it to look. Um, I'm going to try to make it a little bit less or like more visible like about that. That looks already kind of cool. So you see that you get the effect um, of having this like transparent graph which is right there and it already looks kind of cool. I would like to add a shadow which is going to be white without any spacings and it should also be blurred. Maybe go and increase the shadow opacity and now we can play a little bit with the blur which is right there. So I think that looks already really great. And I would like to display a number at the top, which is like the current balance of our bank account or whatever. And let's say the current balance is like six thousand two hundred thirty-four dollars. I'm going to change it to white and increase the size. We can also, yeah, we can play with the weight. I will just leave it in the light as a lightweight and center it up using this icon. Okay, I would like to indicate a certain point right here within this uh, within this path. So I'm going to create a line and the line will be vertical like that and it will have the same fill as the path. Now I was wondering is it possible somehow to copy the fill or is it somehow possible to drag this over or anything? If you are, uh, I mean yeah I can probably save it up right there. Yeah there we have it. So I should be able to use it but maybe you know a way to just copy it to a layer if you don't want to save it. So like that. That's all, yeah, like already the effect that we are looking for, but I would like to really have it fading out really clean, just like that. I also want a oval to indicate that there is the current, uh, like this is the point which we have selected, just like that. And like this is the area that we selected, just like that, within our path or vector. And on the bottom, we will differ. Uh, we will display different like earnings or expenses. And right here, we are going to display some uh, different settings. Like you are displaying one day, you are displaying one week, one month, one year, five years, and so on. So I am simply copying the headline to use this text layer because I like the lightweight and so on. So we simply have to go check the alignment, select the select just the center one and we can also decrease the size, the font size a little bit. So this is going to be one day. And then we have one week one uh, month 
Then we have one year. Oops. Then we will have uh, five years. Then we have 10 years. Or probably we'll have so to add some more stuff in between. So I guess, yeah, this is one week. Let's say this is uh, three weeks. This is one month. This is three months. This is one year. This is uh, three years. This is five years. And this is, yeah, this is going to be all just like that. So I would like to uh, select one of these entries right here. Maybe just go for the one month. And uh, we are going to create a background. That's why I'm selecting the layer, which is below this one. A rectangle, which looks ugly currently. But when we go to gradients and checking, when we are checking this one right here at the bottom, hope you can see this correctly. Let me check this real quick. Um, so we have this like dark gradient and I'm going to change both of these sides right here to white. So you see that we have a white gradient which is already looking kind of cool and which is working perfectly for what I want to do. Um, then I'm changing the width a little bit and boom, this is the indicator for our current uh, month or current filter. So I think we can move the oval, the line and the path down a little bit. And I think we have to center this about like this. I would also like to say what, uh, what we are currently showing using this indicator right there. So I copy our headline and I'm dragging it right to this position. And we are showing a certain time like 10 43 like Eastern Standard Time or whatever like that this is what we are displaying we can also change it to regular and decrease the font size a little bit I think this is better yeah that looks good so here we have our design for the top area like that and now it's time to head over to the bottom so I gonna group up all of these layers but the background and this is the top area so I'm calling it top and this will be in the bottom and right now right here we are going to display different uh, like entries as I already mentioned like it's expenses and earnings and so on so one of these entries is going to be the monthly income like that and it has a dollar amount on the right side whatever you're getting every month Oops, just add something like, I don't know, something like that. And after that, we can simply also copy this one to indicate if there is a change from the last month or the last uh, section. And in this case, we didn't have any changes, so we had plus zero percent. And we are going to decrease this a little bit. Maybe we are changing the color to a gray and this we are going to display it like that. So that's the first entry of our user interface. And I would like to uh, add a background. So I'm copying this one. I would like to have black. Uh, I would like to have gray and white entries. So this should have a slight gray color. 
like that. I think we are also moving this down a little bit and we are going to add a headline right there. So I'm copying this one. This is the headline and this is going to be called um, uh, whatever changes. Yeah, just call it changes or give it a name. And the background can also be copied. I like to copy layer. I just like to use them again, even though we are completely changing them very often. And change the width, the height again. And I going, I'm going to select the background color. Center it up. And this is going to be the changes headline, just like that. So this is the income entry. I'm grouping this up. And on the second one, we are going to just disable the background, which is helping us. So this is like we shopped at Ikea. And I think, yeah, we should also change the color of the entry. So this is a like successful and adding to our like adding to our balance so we are going to give it a green color about like that and in ikea we purchased some furniture and so on so this is like going to be red of course like that and then we just copy both of these entries down there and on the second one you have to enable the background for a second so we can uh, so we can position these other two entries correctly like that and these are the last entries so maybe we had some income by I don't know some affiliate affiliate program and in this month we made like five hundred fifty one dollars uh, using the affiliate and this is maybe like ten point twenty ten point two percent more than in the last month since we are not shopping in Ikea like every month we can also get rid of that and just drag the number to the correct position. And we also shopped at uh, Amazon for about $1,053. And let's get also rid of that. And then we have it right there. So these are the few changes and entries that we have in our UI kit. And look at the beautiful beautiful graph that we created in this one that you can also use for your designs of course because the files are linked down in the video description so that's easy and you can just use it if you want and yeah just download it as well as the menu there are the material design icons guys i want to thank you for being part of this thank you for your time i hope you enjoyed it if you enjoyed it hit the like button or the thumb up button or subscribe to the channel if you haven't I hope you liked it. You can also just tweet at me on Twitter at Maxco or yeah, just have a nice conversation there. Thanks and we see us in the next one. This video was sponsored by Dev Mountain. If any of you are interested in learning UX design, Dev Mountain is a 12 week design bootcamp intended to get you a full time job in the industry. You can learn more about this at devmountain.com or by clicking the link in the video description. Thanks for watching the video and we see us in the next one. Bye!